We're well into the school year and we've all had plenty of time to adjust to those school buses being back out on the road, but that doesn't mean that we can't talk about school bus safety still. Yeah, there are a lot of danger zones that perhaps you don't think about. Your kids don't think about when they head out to the bus stop. News 8's Ken Pierce probably hasn't thought about them until this morning and now he's learning an awful lot about them and teaching us as well. It is National School Bus Safety Weekend. That's right, Allie and Chris, and it comes at a time of year when you have to be very cautious in the morning about school bus safety because here at the All-Star Transportation Bus Yard, they're already leaving to go on their routes, and the sun is not even close to coming up in the sky. That means there are kids waiting at the bus stop here in the pitch dark. That's why we're talking about school bus safety today with Brenda Bass of All-Star Transportation, and you've got a, a campaign for this school bus safety week. Stay back. From the yellow and black. Now, everything else has to rhyme from here on out. No, I'm just kidding about that. <laughs> but really, how close is too close when the bus pulls up to the bus stop? Well, basically, the danger zones are about 10 feet all around the vehicle. When we talk to the children, we tell them to take five giant steps away from the bus before they turn in either direction. And we also remind them if they can touch the bus, they're too close. Mm -hmm. And what should drivers be aware of uh, this time of year, too, when it is so dark out there? I, guess, I mean, you just got to watch out for the kids, basically. That's correct. I mean, the drivers have root sheets. They know where the children are supposed to be standing. But if they're running late for the bus, they could be walking along the roadway or out in the roadway. So as we approach our stops, our federal guidelines for our procedures say that we have to start our procedure at least 100 feet before the bus stop. So that enables us to start slowing down, activate our amber lights, which our SOS lights are on now. But it gives everybody the advance warning that we're approaching a stop so motorists are aware that there are students out there. All right, Brenda, thank you. And one more note for you. Tell the kids as they head out today, if you drop something around a school bus, don't bend down and pick it up because when you're down this low, driver can't see you. We're live in Seymour. I'm Kent Pierce. Back to you.